Hello and welcome to everyone who's watching this. My name is Zubair Hussain and this is supposed to be my demo video for the project of denoising and superposition of images. So I, for this project, I have um, did, I did actually two parts. One using the, like I've read a couple of research paper related to super resolution and I found that the most like state-of-the-art model is actually the enhanced super resolution GAN, the generative adversarial networks. So I tried implementing the actual model but uh, due to the computational power it requires um, and the time duration of the project I was not able to actually uh, finish making the making the GAN architecture. So instead what I did was to go through the enhanced SR GAN architectures like papers API. I downloaded it, tweaked a few uh, codes and here are the results. So in the inputs folder, I've, uh, not, not this one, the new inputs folder, placed an image uh, which is, as you can see, uh, full of noise and obviously small. Okay. And uh, when I will run this command, uh, which will run this interference real ESR again dot pi, it will take in the model, take in, take in the input, this image, and like save the output the denoised and super resolution like bigger scaled and super resolution image as uh, the output in the results folder which is now empty so let me just run this line of code okay so it says here sorry the code is being it's running. It's testing the image, one underscore n, which is the name of the image. Okay, um, now I think the code has been run. So in the image, in the results folder, as you can see, there is an output image. And if I open it, you can see that the image is quite uh, denoised. And obviously the image is bigger. If I can just show you here, this image is bigger than the input that I've put in. As you can see, it's bigger. If you want to see the scale, you can. It's 500, uh, 500 times 375, and the results that we've received is somewhat like bigger. Uh, 2,500, which is like a three, four, five, or four times at least. Yes. So yeah, super resolution project number. Uh, like this is the first attempt in like downloading the API and using the API to solve the project problem. Next up, uh, this was my attempt on training an actual model for super resolution. So I've picked a relatively simpler model, uh, which was the SRCNN, which was the previous state of the art, like before the SR GAN came. So the C uh, SRCNNs use uh, simple like CNNs to uh, bring out the super resolution in the uh, in images. So that is what I attempt to do in here. So uh, the code is uh, obviously not going to explain it line by line here. Uh, but what I attempted to do here is to uh, follow the um, the research paper that I've read about the super resolution and uh, like uh, found some uh, like architectural works in github 
which I try to implement as best as possible. The model, model is being trained, but of course it is not uh, this one, yes. So the model architecture has been set quite like um, simple architecture, not uh, too much. There's a convolution and deconvolution layers in the model. The loss that I've used uh, in the paper, they've used the loss of mean squared error, but I uh, like found that this the mean squared error in an image like resolution problem uh, found to be inefficient. So I've uh, modified the loss function to use the VGT loss, also known as the perceptual loss. So that is what I've used here. Um, and here is where, where I've trained the model to like 10 epochs, but also in not of like the entire data set, I've used like one third of the data set. Uh, so I've uh, trained it for 10 epochs. It took around 12 hours to train on my GPU um, because uh, still the model is really big. Um, so the trained, uh, I, I saved the model, but it did not exactly uh, show me good results as because it sh I should like, you know, train it in more epochs and obviously use the entire data set to train. So yeah, this is the update on the um, on the part that I've tried to do, like try to recreate the uh, super resolution architecture myself. So if I did have a couple of more like CPU power or a bit more time, I'm sure I will be able, uh, like I would be able to produce some results, like some satisfactory results to show here. So yeah, this is my project demo. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching.